Hi and welcome back to Scrollbox Unboxing with Bats, Cats and Broomsticks. Today we've got the scroll box for the month of April. I am sorry that this is coming out a little bit late. Um, I had a little bit of difficulties with filming. Some parts of the filming later on are missing and I am sorry about that due to some technical issues. So let's get right into unboxing the box. So we've got it boxed up with the nice tissue paper like they always do. Let's see what's inside. They have given us a really cool sticker with a lion, no, tiger, sorry, print on it. And then we have these pencils, which we'll have a good look at in a bit. They are the Fine Art Pencils by Derwent. We have this incredibly cool looking fine liner pen, which I am really, really looking forward to having a go with. Then we have a few other bits and bobs under the tissue paper. We have an eraser, a little suite that they've provided, and this sharpener that feels really, really solid. It feels really, really good quality. Um, just a little sweet. Uh, then we've got our Artist of the Month's um, print. This is by the artist Cecilia um, and Josti? I'm not. I, I have no idea how to pronounce that. I'm very sorry. Um, then we have a toned paper pad. I've never used a warm toned paper pad before, so something in the brownie beige kind of colour ranges. Uh, it significantly changes how your work comes out. We've got our challenge for the month, our walk on the wild side challenge, and on the other side of the card, everything that's in the box is listed. And same on the front page of the catalogue that comes with our box. We've got a description of everything in the box. A little sit down with the artist talking about who she is and how she does her art. And then we've got hints, tips and guides to use the materials in the box. We've got the gallery of contributions from everyone having done the Darwin Art Pastels palette, the watercolour pastel palette. And at the end we've got just a little bit about um, art in general, just a sort of general information thing for you to read and enjoy. So let's have a look, see how these pencils work, see what we've got. And I'm a bit a nervous to use this tone paper because it really does make a big difference to how your work comes out in the end because it will make everything warm toned. Um, I've used some cold tone paper before and that, and that makes some rather striking pictures. So let's see how the warm tone works. We have been given some dark green pencils. These are the Chrome Flow pencils from Derwent and just trying this out now, it isn't my favourite pencils that they make. I much prefer their range of drawing pencils, which look, work really well on black paper, because they are very, very, very buttery. And these just feel a little bit hard and unwilling to blend out. So I don't know if that's partly because of the paper, but they're, they're very hard to blend. So then we've got a light green and this white. I was impressed by the white. The white is quite brilliant and very, very white, quite reflective. Uh, then we've got a yellow ochre kind of colour, a warm yellow colour. And I think that due to the tone of the paper underneath that it feels almost invisible. We have this rust brown colour, which is a bit of a ready toned brown. Um, later on I find out that if you uh, mix that with white you get a nice pink colour. And then we've got the black pencil. On my first impressions of these pencils I'm not excited to use them. They feel very very hard and a little bit waxy as well. Like some pencils, when you've put them down on the paper, they have a nice finish to them that doesn't feel 
like you've just drawn with crayon but other pencils have this horrifically waxy texture once you've finished drawing with them and I've always been a bit I don't know uh, unhappy with that as a finish then we've got the really cool fine liner pen I'm fascinated by how this fine liner pen works because it's a brush tip fine liner pen by Unipen and it has these beautiful strokes to it I have to admit that from everything that's come in this box this is the thing that I am happiest with and that I'm the most excited to get to use um, the pencils seem really interesting and we're gonna give them a go but I, I like I said I prefer the other pencils that Darren have in their range so moving on I have already outlined a drawing to save some time um, and I'm gonna just go ahead and layer up the pencils a bit at a time I want to add a note here that I'm not sponsored to create this video this is just what I want to do and I make for myself and to show other people that you don't have to be a certain specific artist to enjoy learning different materials or that different tools aren't for you so I just wanted to say that whilst these pencils aren't really something that I enjoy very much because I'm not a pencil artist I did learn an awful lot from them and for that reason I stand by my statement that getting a scroll box subscription every month as an artist has helped build my artwork, built my portfolio and keep me on my toes as to what I'm learning and how I'm using my skills and my tools as well. So to save me some time I went ahead and drew out the the image I wanted to use before I started colouring it in and I thought I'd go with a little tiger peeking through some green leaves because I thought it would make the best use of all the colours that they've given us in the pencils to try and build something up and I tried very very hard to build up colour in this drawing and I don't know if it's the paper or if it's the pencils but I found that there was a lot of spaces where I just couldn't get pencils to go down it ended up looking like there were little dots of paper poking through the colour everywhere and aesthetically that might be somebody's um, desired effect but in my case it wasn't I wasn't attempting to make that as an effect I really wanted it to look burnished and really well finished so other than that these pencils have really really good colour I did I was surprised by how impressive the build of colour was um, but they don't seem to want to blend very well or maybe I'm just a little bit not skilled enough to blend them as well as they could be I found that they were really quite hard as a pencil so when I put down a white in order to create a lighter green um, I would end up with patches where it's greener and patches where it's whiter as opposed to a nice smooth even gradient creating a gradient with them was difficult um, they wanted to make blocks of color and so if you want to do something that requires a block of color I highly recommend these pencils I don't know if there's a skill or a technique that I am missing to the use of these pencils but for me that was that was a big drawback on these pencils so I want to go ahead and say here that I did have a little bit of technical difficulties whilst filming uh, how I drew and painted this tiger so there may be some skips in footage but overall it is mostly there and I'm going to time lapse it over and let you guys see how I built it up and how it looks finished from the point of view of somebody who is essentially a very very basic novice in using pen colored pencils how these 
pencils came out for me and personally if you if you're if you're looking for first pencils to use i wouldn't use these i would say they are a pencil that requires some technical skill and know how to use that they are not as straightforward as bringing them out of the box and putting together a drawing but that's just my opinion um something else that i would like to note is that the colors of greens and and the brownie oranges they really did complement each other very well they did make for good warmth and color depth in that sense so there was there was some beautiful colors that this created if you like what i make and you like watching the squirrel box subscriptions that i unbox and demonstrate the art materials inside please like and subscribe every single like and subscription is a massive help to me building up this channel into being something that i can put more time and more effort into i would really love to one day be able to make videos full time creating beautiful artwork and being continuously challenged into making beautiful things that you guys get to enjoy leave a comment down below as well and let me know what you made with your scroll box subscription what wild side thing you decided to create and i'll try to I'll, i try to reply to everybody's comments in the comment section down below and i love hearing from everybody how they work differently to me i love hearing about your techniques your ideas and your skill set what you prefer um, my great preference is for watercolors and acrylics um, i like hearing other people's different points of view and learning from their collective wisdom and skills i really appreciate all the comments all the likes and all the subscribers that follow my channel thank you I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack Born a rock star in this life, gone live it up on the attack Baby, I'm bad, I just wanna get caught up in this life I'm crazy, I'm mad, doing no cap Only God wants you, better go live it up Cash in the bag, stadium pack Baby, I'm bad, yeah. baby, I'm bad I just wanna stay bad, stay mad Shit by my shoulder cause they treat me like an outcast I ain't gonna take that, stay back I'll be swinging hard till the hits come in all caps I ain't gonna lay back, pray that someone's gonna help me Ain't nobody like that I ain't gonna wait, that's all fact Give me one shot and I'll never get the throne back I'm sick of being cautious I'ma go cause some pain, can't stop this I'ma steal everybody's lane, cut a shoplift Sick of hearing everyone complain when they thoughtless Taste the pain, it's like candy canes It makes me go change into a better frame Into a better name, society's insane We all live for fame, yeah Cash in the bag, stadium pack Born a rock star in this life, gonna live it up on the attack Baby, I'm bad, I just wanna get caught up in this life I'm crazy, I'm mad, do it no cap Only God wants you, better go live it up Cash in the bag, stadium pack Baby, I'm bad, baby, I'm bad I
So that's it for today's video. I really am very sorry about the skips and, and strange missing parts in the video. Hopefully that will be resolved by next time. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate every single view I get. Until next time.